So what are some of the directions the DALN has gone? Did it go in the directions you thought it would go? Has there been any, any surprises? Um, where do you feel like it'd be headed? Well, one of the surprises with the DALN, I, I thought when we started it, when Louie and I were working on its uh, logical structure, I thought that the best way would be to make a, uh, a um, structure that asked the same questions of everybody and gave them a controlled vocabulary for responding. So I would ask things like, uh, what state do you live in? And then I'd give 50 or so opportunities and they'd have to choose, you know, Alaska, uh, Nebraska, Ohio, whatever. Um, Louis, however, in all his brilliance, uh, talked this, talk me into thinking about this as a folksonomy. That is, you might ask the question, but there was no controlled vocabulary for responding. So if I would, were to ask something like, um, what is your uh, uh, sexual orientation, or would you like to self-identify with regard to your sexual orientation? If I had had forced choice, it would have been gay, straight, you know, maybe I'd have two or three different choices. But with a folksonomy, individuals uh, put in their own identifying term, and because they use their own identifying term, and because they are located in time and space, the terms that they choose also become data for anybody thinking about how to look at the um, how to look at the narratives and the literacies that happen. Uh, for example, if uh, we'd had a controlled vocabulary, we might have chosen uh, what if, to a question like "What is your race?" We might have had African American, Caucasian, you know, four or five different. Um, selections, but because we opened it up to people's own description, we find out that some generations prefer to talk, to use the term African Americans, some generations and some people blacks, some generations and people African oriented. You know, there are, there might be 20 terms for uh, race in the DALN, uh, there might be 20 terms for sexual orientation in the DALN, and all of those terms, uh, all of those choices provide us data about how people self-identify and then carry that self-identification into some connection with literacy.